I have a five-year-old boy, and last summer I taught him how to ride a bike. Now, if you are a parent, you know that this can be one of the most joyful experiences with your kid, but also one of the most maddening. As I tried to get my boy Jack to just pedal down the road, he would freak out and sometimes throw his bike down or march inside and want to quit. I mean, there were a lot of tears. I was thinking to myself, this kid is going to be on training wheels forever. When I could finally get him to calm down, I would ask, what are you afraid of? And of course he was said he was afraid of getting hurt. But I assured him that he couldn't get hurt as long as I was holding on and that I wouldn't let go until I thought that he was ready. And he would say to me, but what if you do let go before I'm ready? And I said, buddy, if I say that I will not let go, that means I won't let go. You have to trust me. Well, he got back on his bike, and as I'm holding on to the back seat, and he begins to kind of pedal a little bit, I start saying over and over, trust me, Jack, I will not let go. Trust me, Jack, I will not let go. Trust me, Jack, I will not let go. And I watched him unclench his muscles and release this tension, and then he started to actually pedal his bike. And then I said, are you ready for me to let go? And he said, yes. And my little boy started riding a bike on his own. Now, when I think back to this experience with a lot of pride, I realized that in order for Jack to learn to ride his bike, he had to trust me, but he also had to trust himself. He needed the confidence to see that he could do it. And you know, this has me thinking about the other areas of his life where he needs to develop confidence and learn to trust himself. But it also has me thinking about our students. We want them to develop independence. We want them to grow and succeed and thrive on their own. And what I'm learning is that in order for them to do this, they need to trust. They need to trust that they're capable of overcoming adversity and learning new things and developing new skills. But they also need people in their lives who they can trust to guide them on this journey. And this is where teachers come in. We are in a unique position to enter our students' stories and have a major impact on them by building relationships, offering encouragement, designing learning experiences where our students can have the opportunity to fail and learn and then succeed. Teachers help create moments where their students learn to trust and believe in themselves. You know, when I was a senior in college getting an English degree because that was the only academic thing I was ever good at and it would keep my mom off my back, Someone asked me if I would tutor their high school daughter for her English class. And I was like, sure, I could use an extra 50 bucks a week, so why not? Well, the first time I met with this student, her writing was pretty atrocious, and I saw quickly why she was failing English. I also noticed that her confidence was very low, and so was her self-esteem. Well, each week that we met, I saw that her writing improved and she started getting better grades on her assignments. And I even watched her personal confidence grow. At the end of that semester, this girl got her very first A ever in English class. And I found out what I want to do with my life. I mean, my mind was blown. I couldn't believe that I could not only help this girl grow in her writing abilities, but also her ability, you know, how she saw herself and, and how she carried herself and how she believed in herself. I watched her confidence grow and I couldn't get enough of this. And so I went and I enrolled in a teaching certification program and the rest is history. You know, this is what teaching is all about in my opinion. Helping students learn to trust you so that they can grow and succeed and learn to trust themselves. Sure, they might get a little bumped and bruised when they fall off the bike along the way, but when they do get back on and they learn that they are capable of pedaling and riding on two wheels, they realize that they don't need training wheels anymore.